I can appreciate having a very perfect background. Yeah, I was trying to, well, what we've got is this, and I was trying to get this. Uh -huh. Uh, so my name is Dan Piak. I manage a video metrics product for Comscore. Um, and how we get at that data uh, is two sources. Uh, the first source is a panel of internet users. Uh, we have two million users worldwide that we track their internet behavior. And one aspect of that internet behavior is viewing videos. Uh, so we're able to understand where they're watching videos, for how long they're watching videos, um, get a really good sense of unique viewers from that aspect, and then project it to the total population. Um, so that's, that's the first half. The second half uh, is our census level measurement that um, is commonly referred to as unified digital measurement. And how we get that aspect of the data uh, is we work with almost all of the major top publishers, both in the video space as well as the, the ordinary media space. Uh, and we have them send us data every time a video gets viewed. Uh, for video metrics in specific. And so by that, we're able to get a very census level, so total population, look at the video activity on that site. And then furthermore, break that video activity down into very granular levels. So for NBC, for example, we're able to break out every one of their shows and understand how people are engaging with those shows, both on the census level from that unified digital measurement, as well as on the panel. So on the panel, how are they, how are they watching an episode of The Office? Um, and then similarly, again, from the census level. Uh, so we, we have a secret sauce that we merge those two data sources together uh, to get what we believe in, and we know is, is the most accurate source out there. Obviously, we're paying very close attention to the cross-media space and the three-screen um, developments that are taking place uh, because I think at the end of the day, content is king, uh, as you always hear. And to the extent that that's the case, uh, we have to follow that content wherever it goes. Uh, and currently, that's mostly uh, online, but obviously uh, we're, we're, in a, we're at a very, very turning point um, in this space where mobile and over the top are growing very, very substantially and very quickly. So that's something that we, we are very much having our pulse on uh, and are tracking and sort of wanting to produce the indicators that will help us know where it's going to be in five years. So I think we've reached a state now in the online video space, and we've been tracking these things since you know, for many, many years now. We've reached a space uh, now where almost everyone online is watching video at some point during the month. So we've now got that reach. Uh, but what's interesting is what we're finding now is that now that everyone's watching online video, people are beginning to watch a lot more of it. Uh, it's more than doubled in the past year. Um, and that's a really fascinating trend because video, online video is still a small part um, of the overall activity of any individual on a given day um, as compared to television, let's say. But what's happening is that's growing incredibly fast. Uh, so engagement levels are up. Uh, the number of videos being viewed are up. Uh, and that's, uh, that's across all demographics. A, a lot of the times we sort of think, oh, it's just the younger demographic and that's it. Uh, but the, that increase um, in engagement and number of videos viewed is happening across the board. Uh, and it's happening at a very high rate. So I think that if you just do a simple extrapolation, uh, we're going to be at a point not too far in the future where online video is, is a major, major player out there. Um, and so that's, that's what makes me really excited about this space. And I think you know, all of us here today are here because that's true. Uh, we're not a dying industry. We're, we're, in, we're in our birth. Um, we're sort of in our really high growth state, which makes this an exciting space and a space that changes quickly. Uh, and frankly, that's, that's kind of the reason why you know, I think Comscore is so valuable is because we're, we're monitoring that and giving out the analytics that enable people to make the best decisions uh, for monetizing the space as it continues to explode.